anytime you see reward or punishment, think about operant conditioning, think about a Skinner. And when we think about that, it's important to understand the ratio versus interval figure left. Devil is in the details. All right, everyone good? So, I've been in reviews all day. You guys can't see it, but laptop. But it's iftar time and I bought a burrito from Taco Mix because I had a coupon on Seamless. That's how they get me. I know I'm spending way too much money on food, um, but really it's the only joy I'm getting at the moment, so. Welcome to Rama Vlogs week three and heading home to work. And I've been lollygagging on the phone with my friend. Um, we said I'm gonna work out, but it's time to work out. And I wanted to make this week's vlog a little bit more focused on how slash why and like what I change so I can work out during Ramadan because it's something I do. I know it's not something everyone does. So if you're interested in how to do it or how I do it, I just wanted to share a little bit. So I'm gonna do a ballet beautiful workout. That's usually what I work that's usually what I do even outside of Ramadan. Um, and I try to limit the cardio during this year, or during this part of the year. So yeah, I'm just gonna choose a video and get into it, and then I'll talk a little bit about it after. But I do have class at 7, so I need to get on it because I have less than an hour, or about an hour, to do an hour workout, so get into it. And then I also have packages over here that I want to unbox with you guys, so. Yeah, lots going on. Let's go. My camera battery is dying, so wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. 
What you're gonna end up having is this all over again. So now you're gonna have water back on top, and we're back to the beginning. So guys, um, it's iftar time. I did finish my workout, but I haven't gotten a chance to shower because I have class. So I'm just gonna eat. I just got some sushi. So I'm gonna eat, and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about um, working out after I finish class and stuff. But overall, good workout, and I filmed a bunch of it, so you guys will see. It was like a lot of abs, um, inner thigh, and more like standing abs, and then standing legs, um, and arms type stuff. So, yeah. So I'll go ahead and get started. So what I'm kind of thinking today is just kind of... You know, we're going to kind of keep chill review. Um, but kind of what I'm playing is review worksheet. And then, um, sorry, my, I got a new computer. My AirPods keep trying to connect to it. Um, and then I pulled some AMC um, questions so we can go through some of those. Okay. So basically, um, work. Hi guys, it's several hours later. I am absolutely knackered, for lack of a better term. And I was gonna show you guys what I got, um, unbox some things, but I'm so tired that I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'll do it tomorrow or on Wednesday. I really wanted to unbox it too, because so I'm like, I wanna use those things, but yeah. It's not gonna happen tonight. I said I was going to talk about um, how I work out and like give tips. So tip number one for today is, I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier, like modify your workouts. And one of the ways I do that um, in a specific modification, I guess is actually this tip, is to um, maybe not do as much cardio. I don't do as much cardio focused stuff. Um, I do Ballet Beautiful, which is a ballet based like workout. Um, so it's a lot of utilizing ballet muscles. I love the ballet. I danced through college. Um, it's what kept me sane. And I danced in high school, also kept me sane. And I fell in love with ballet. I'm not very good or anything, but I love it. Um, and so it's been a workout that I've really, really enjoyed. And Mary Helen is just so soothing. You guys probably saw the clips. It's not anything like super jumpy or crazy, but it works. The results are... Um, and so usually my um, workouts and my subscription, I usually do a lot more cardio um, because I'm on like the fat burn um, custom subscription like workout plan thing. Um, right now though, I'm not doing that much cardio uh, because the cardio is really what wins me out. It just slaps me in the face. So I try to limit that. So that's my tip um, to try and work out during Ramadan is to modify by removing cardio. So hopefully that helps you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hoping you guys are having a good, good um, Ramadan so far. Sending good vibes. Bye. Okay, so it's like one something and I'm home early from work because I have a doctor's appointment. Actually specifically a dentist appointment today because I haven't been in over a year and I'm trying to be a better adult. So I'm going just to see if there's anything crazy. I mean, I know that my wisdom teeth are all like essentially like, you know, how your teeth are supposed to be like this. They're all laying down like this in my <laughs> and they want me to take them out. I am, I don't know if this is the guinea in me or whatever, but my mom doesn't want me to get them taken out unless I'm at LA, in LA. She doesn't think I need to get them out because obviously in Guinea they didn't do that. So she's like, okay, if you're going to do it, do it in LA so you can 
you know, like so I can take care of you, which I'm not complaining. Like I would rather have my mom there <laughs> to take care of me <laughs> if I get like sick and groggy, you know, just, you know, so I'm not getting that done. So I hope they're not going to try and pressure me to do that again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to that and then I'm probably going to come home and work out. But, um, I just wanted to check in. Happy Tuesday. And if you guys are enjoying this vlog thus far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification button so that you're notified whenever I make new videos. <laughs> and I really, really appreciate all the new people who have subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> also, can we talk about how Fatima this outfit is? Like super oversized, sort of oversized pants. These are thrifted, like old Burberry pants that I love. I'm so lucky that I found these in freaking Boston. Got angels singing. Allah was on my side, truly. Because ah, just, anyway, and then this hijab is from Matara Studios, and this is also thrifted. It was a gift from my little sister Zia. Well, she's not really my blood little sister, but she's my little sister in all intents and purposes. I miss her loads. Anyway, yeah, I've loved this for years. So. Just finished at my dentist. They didn't say anything, they just said come back in six months for your cleaning. That's the one I go to, Amaralis, ooh, Jacob, right there. Um, super close to where I live, but yeah. Um, it's a really nice day, it's like 2.30, usually I get home around five. So I'm thinking I'm gonna walk to um, a nearby Starbucks because I have stars that are expiring May 1st stars. I'm gonna go get something cold from Starbucks and put that in the fridge for iftar and maybe I'll stop at Whole Foods and get the Sletch's cake because I deserve a treat <laughs> forever and ever and ever. <laughs> because why not? Always say yes to cake. Anywho, we're gonna go. I'm gonna call my mom and talk to her and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I got kombucha, tres leches, Starbucks. I got um, a better croissant because I needed to use my um, reward before it expired. And I got a vanilla bean frappuccino, which I'm keeping in the fridge until I can break fast. Hashtag adulting, my idea of groceries. and show you guys what I got. So I actually got a refill of the laundress all-purpose detergent. No, all-purpose. Actually, wait on that. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the building. How have you been? Jasmine. Okay, so you guys just saw JC came over to get her vest. So we just chatted for a bit. Now she's gone, but I think I was legit unboxing my all purpose alternative bleach from the laundress. I've used this for like two years almost pretty much since july 9, 2019 is when i first got it great i think it like really brightens your clothing and it's not toxic so a replacement and this whole thing costs like 14 dollars so good play next package it's from risore and i got their face washer set you guys know that i've been struggling with this mask knee in my chin. So I decided to get um, a towel for just my face and these are antimicrobial um, 
and like apparently they don't hold as much bacteria as your usual um, towels do. So I thought I'd try it. I saw it on Rahel's channel and I was pretty much sold. As she said, like you can use these for like 10 days or something before you have to then wash them. The next thing I got was Mighty Patches for my skin. And then the last package. Okay, good job Sephora. So I ordered these in two separate orders, but they were really, really smart and actually put it in one order. So I got this during the Sephora VIB sale. I got the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I've been using this for years. It's amazing. Worth every single penny. Amazing. And I'm hoping to use it more because I really suck at using skincare products. I got a refill of my Alpha H liquid gold glycolic acid um, serum type thing that I use pretty much every day or every other day. And then I got my SK2 skin essence um, because this stuff is gold and I love it. Also, I've been using it for years since at least like 2017 and I swear by it. But I think I'm going to break down these boxes and then work out um, and call it a day. Guys, hello. It's Wednesday. I am... I'm feeling a little out of sorts. I'm seeing everything that's happening in India and I'm like, why has it come to this before we've decided to do something? Anyway, that's a whole other story, but I've just been cleaning today. Didn't show you guys because that was my whole first vlog and last night I basically was so tired and I fell asleep super early and I didn't get to show you guys um, all that I wanted to show you in terms of like working out um, and my tips so i'm gonna work out now and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys or talk to you guys about my tips hi guys i'm coming to you guys all washed up post-workout with a face mask on the pumpkin enzyme mask i showed you guys yesterday and my rosori towels drying back there because they told or at least the instructions said that it might be a good idea to wash them um, in hot water before you um, use them so that they don't, I think, like fall apart. What is the pilling or shed? Wow, took me a, took me a moment. <laughs> I wanted to come and give you guys what I think will be my second tip for working out during Ramadan, and that is to basically adjust the amount of days you're working out like during ramadan i don't try and do like six seven days straight honestly my goal in general is to get three hours of ballet beautiful in throughout the week um usually that for me is like um even when it's not ramadan that's my goal more than i usually do more than that but i try just for mentally um for me i've learned that it's just easier for me to be like okay i only have to work out three days a week because there's more days than in the week that i'm not working out than saying i'm gonna work out five days a week it just like doesn't work for me in addition to changing my workout and making it not as crazy impact um but back to my original tip <laughs> before i go on a tangent basically you don't have to work out the same amount as you were um not during ramadan and it's okay to like reduce it just so that you have that movement and activity in there just to keep it and just to adjust for like the lifestyle you're living if you can do the same you were doing do it but if you feel like you can't reduce it a little bit so that you can keep it in your life and still like be able to like connect with Allah and um, participate in this like unifying month with everyone else so yeah i think basically the tip is readjust the amount of days you're working out or the amount of time however you're looking at it throughout a week to adjust for ramadan um my workout today was um pretty intense <laughs> kick my butt we did inner thigh um we did core we did um legs and like the back of the legs the hamstrings and then we did a bit of like cardio and arms like swan arm cardio with arabesques and stuff so my heart rate was up 
I know I said I'm not doing as much cardio, but it seems like the last two days have been cardio because yesterday there was a good amount of cardio, a lot of abs and core, um, and like inner thigh as well, and some um, like leg lifts as well. So, you know, just like super full and well-rounded. I am feeling pretty decent, even though I've been working out hard. I mean, I feel pretty winded after working out. I'm not going to lie. I'm not like <laughs> hunky-dory. It's not easy, but... Um, it's not easy when I'm not working, when I'm not fasting either, but I think it's definitely a little bit more difficult, but it's worth it for me. Um, so yeah, tip number two. I hope you guys are finding these tips helpful and I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Ramadan. And again, if you're enjoying the videos thus far, and I hope that you hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you guys know when I post new videos, sending you guys lots of love. And I'll see you guys in a little bit trying to decide what to get for iftar. So I just wanted to come in and show you guys my skin post my face mask. Actually, maybe it'll be better if I show you guys in the light. It just looks, I think it looks much more just smooth. <laughs> um, now I have a little pimple here. Great. Some little one here. This is just like scarring. Another little bump here. But yeah, just I feel like my skin looks brighter <laughs> after that. So good, good. that I've seen on so many videos I wanted to take you guys with me. It takes like a week or so, five to seven days for your feet to peel after this, but I just washed my feet and I'm gonna put this on. Oh gosh. Yeah, she might be busy. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to get insurance through this um, new job? Okay, They're no big deal, right? So I've definitely left this on over an hour and it's time to pray or past time to pray. So I'm going to go, but I've been working on... Um, physics because let's just say I never really took physics if I'm being honest <laughs> um, but I need to learn these equations so we're going through it and this has been really helpful so yeah but I'm gonna go wash this off because you're supposed to wash it off with soap and water so maybe I'll just take a shower now and call it a day yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do six hours later
Find what feels comfortable for you. Well, um, the live stream is now offline during the middle of a workout. I don't know what to do. Ugh. I'm definitely pooped, but we'll see. Ugh, I just need to get back into the workout. I feel like I'm gonna miss it. Ugh, I'm so annoyed. Update, I still despise physics. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just not, not happy and feeling like I need to push my exam back. But I'm gonna keep strong and keep on keeping it on because this is the dream and the dream is worth the hard work so I think there goes my summer is really how I feel <laughs> Later. Hi folks, um, it's been a rough couple of days, <laughs> but um, it's Friday night, I've been feeling honestly like under the weather, which is why I've stayed home for the past two days from work, um, just like feeling very odd. <sighs> Today is Friday night and I have another practice exam tomorrow. I don't feel like I've learned much this week um, or even solidified what I had learned, but here we are. Hoping I don't do worse than I did last time. Our standards are so high right now. Anywho, I am going to head to bed after using the bathroom. I just finished praying, but I wanted to end with tip number three for working out during Ramadan and that is to shift the time you're working out. I find for me I work out best closer to when we have iftar so I'll work out around um, five or six and that'll give me time to shower and then like relax a little bit before I then break fast. Um, I find that works for me or usually like working out earlier in the day um, before I'm too wiped out. Um, usually I'm my ideal workout time is honestly the afternoon um, without Ramadan or just in general me as a person but for circumstances out of my control I do have to work out in the evening so yeah I find that it works better for Ramadan so find out what works for you maybe that's like right after suhoor or maybe it's mid-afternoon or it's maybe even later than my 5 p.m. Maybe you need to like work out at 6 or 6.30 to 7.30 and really have it be right there. But I think that really helps because then it gives you something to look forward to. Like for me, I'm like, okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done and then I can actually drink water in a little bit. You got this. Um, it basically allows you to economize your energy in the best way possible and use it when it works best for you. Um, so yeah. That's tip number three, and tomorrow I'm going to round it out with why I choose to um, work out during Ramadan and all that jazz, and just a little chatty chatty. But yeah, hope that these three tips are helpful and that you took something away from this video. And if you did and you want to see more of my face, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you know when I post new videos, even after Ramadan. <laughs> like last minute.
got shrimp and crab meat fried rice. So let's get it. Hi guys, so it's Saturday night and I'm finally back home. I went and had iftar with my friend Tummy at Top Thai, this halal place um, downtown and it was so good. Some of the best food I've had in a while. So, so good. Um, and now I'm home and I just wanted to close out this vlog basically. And I wanted to end with why I choose to work out during Ramadan. And I think one of the biggest reasons I choose to work out during Ramadan is because I feel like part of Ramadan is like understanding the way others live. And part of that is people who don't have a choice to not do hard labor and not do manual labor without food and just thinking about the fact that i have a choice to like choose not to work out right and choose not to exert myself physically that's a choice for me um and in making that choice part of me feels like i'm not doing this in the spirit at least for me in the way that i should be doing it in the spirit of what i should be doing it with Basically what I'm trying to say is part of the reason why I continue to try to work out during this month is to really remind myself of how grateful I am to have the choice to drink water when I'm exerting myself physically by choice for like gain of like exercise or like bodily gains or all these like things that I'm doing to please myself. Um, Whereas there are people who don't have that choice, right? Um, <laughs> I can have water when I break fast if I've worked out hard, you know? But there are people who work out hard not for, like, you know, the choice of health or the choice of aesthetics um, and don't even have the opportunity to drink water afterwards, right? So just checking in with myself and having that challenge is super, super important and helpful to me. And I'm so thankful. So, so thankful. If you guys work out during Ramadan and have reasons as to why and want to share, let me know down below. But also, just like making that come full circle, like this isn't for everyone. You can fast for Ramadan and be fully in it and make it for you, make it a spiritual experience for you in the best way possible and not have work out and have that not be a part of it, even if you work out outside of Ramadan like that it's it's such a personal thing this is just me sharing some of the personal for me and as to what i do and why i do it to make this a spiritual journey for me in the hopes that it allows you to help curate your own spiritual journey because it's it's a beautiful thing anywho that's the end of this week's Ramadan vlogs. Ramalogs 3 2021 is done. I can't believe it's I cannot. We're coming up on Eid soon, which is crazy. But also like, wow, it's so quick. Anywho, I'm gonna start rambling. I'm sending you guys lots of love, laughter, and positivity because you absolutely deserve it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.